हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो बाय डिफॉल्ट टू बी सी दिस वाइट कलर बैकग्राउंड ओपन बी ओपन ए पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप फॉर एनी पेज और एनी डैशबोर्ड बट सपोज इफ यू वांट टू चेंज द बैकग्राउंड कलर बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट रिक्वायरमेंट सो हाउ कैन यू डू इट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू चेंज द बैकग्राउंड कलर फॉर योर डैशबोर्ड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so uh, today i will take the new data set and uh, let's see the data i am importing the csv data so this time i will take uh, the csv data last video in if you have seen the previous video you will see i have imported the excel sheet but in this video i am importing the data into the csv format okay so this is the csv data from the global superstore and uh, let's uh, hit the load button so it will be load as it is into the form of the table in the field section so once the data will be loaded it will be coming inside the field section and then we will see uh, the columns of the data set okay so the data has been loaded uh, uh, it's a global super store data so uh, in the future videos i will try to Uh, explore the various option how can we load the data from the different data source so please uh, subscribe my channel so first let's see uh, the data what we have into the global uh, super store so we have the row id order id order date ship date ship mode customer id customer name segment city state country postal code market region product id category sub category and product name sales quantity discount profit shipping cost and order priority so these are the data uh, we have into the global super store so let's go to this dashboard and uh, let's uh, change the color of this dashboard so go to the visualization just click anywhere into this plain dashboard just to go to the visualization you will see the second option format your report page here so you will have the different options like page information uh, you can give the name so right now it's a background setting so you can give any name for the page information then uh, you have the canvas setting so the type uh, vertical alignment okay and then the canvas background so this is the white color the color mentioned here image if you want to import any image or you want to to use any background image you can just click it here into the image section it will browse and just try to get the image and it will be import into your background okay and the transparency is 100% for now so let's go to the color first and uh, let's see if we can or uh, use any color so let's take this one okay so this is the color which we wanted to apply into the background and if you see the transparency is 100 percent means everything is visible whatever is in the background so let's reduce the transparency transparency to the 0 percent and now you see the background color has been changed okay and uh, there is other options like wallpaper anything you just simply like how you change the background you can change any uh, the wallpaper also uh, the filter pane options the filter pane uh, you can change that color text format so all the things is present here uh, you just need to go to a uh, respected uh, component and change uh, the background color, okay so right now we have the a uh, bluish color which looks good now and let's uh, add the name of or uh, let's uh, assign the title for this uh, dashboard so let's go to the insert it's uh, and uh, click on the text box so you see the text box is coming white now i mean it's supposed to be come white but uh, because of the we have changed the background it's clearly visible so let's assign the topic and to the background color change okay and increase the size so in the formatting my 
preference will be the Cambria because it's a heading you can change uh, based on your requirement I am putting 24 and put in bold and medium then uh size like this and color maybe let's take I think it's good right so white inside the white don't look anything so let's wait for a minute just to wait for a minute okay now what i can do is i will go to the formatting for this one let's click it here okay and uh, uh, go to the properties section we have everything position advanced options let's see the advanced options what we have it uh, let's just go to the effect first to change the background because it doesn't look good so let's take this background uh, let's take something else which is dark right uh, let's see if we can find some transparency if we do like this the background will be changing so let's make them zero transparent and let's have the more bolder color okay so let's put this one and then the borders should we need to go the visual borders and uh, put it one shadow if you want you can create a shadow sometime let's create a shadow now header icons we don't need anything from here title is no need to do anything so okay let's uh, put it a from um, just align it into the between okay so that's it so you change the background color uh, of your deck uh, like this text as well as the page and let's plot some chart first so let's uh, take the profit so let's plot a uh, stacked column chart and put the sales into the y axis and uh, let's do by date is the y axis okay so i think uh, order date is not actually the formatted uh into the date wise so you can see like uh, this kind of information is coming so auto date is changing and then and then and, and, and sorting it's a sorted order okay so let's make change based on uh category let's put the category in that okay we have technology we have furniture we have office three category we have it here and uh, reduce the size of this one create one more chart now let's take uh, the favorite one my favorite is donut chart put it here okay and then uh, we have seen the sum of the total sales now let's see the profit as the values and then same thing like a region as a region okay so we have a region okay so let's do some formatting for both the chart and before that uh, let's create few more kpis 
So for creating the KPIs, uh, we need to use the card. Anytime if uh, we, I say that the, uh, we need to create the KPI, just think of the card only. So most of the time uh, when you preparing your dashboard at the first place, so this is the first dashboard, so this is your first dashboard, you need to showcase to your seniors like your manager or stakeholder. So they are mostly interested to know about the important things. Okay. So in the KPIs, uh, you will put like this total sales. So what is the total sales? The important data they are interested in. So in the future video, I will make what information you need to put into the KPI and how to arrange the KPI or task. Uh, I mean, how to arrange the KPI into a proper dashboard. Okay. So this is the one KPI I have it. Let's copy it, create two more. So just copy, control C and control V. Do let's do one more time. Control C and control V. Okay, so three KPI. So one is the total cell. Let's take second is a profit. And the third is a shipping cost let's take this is the shipping cost okay so let's remove it from here put it the second cost okay so and we need to do some formatting right so let's do some formatting uh, very quickly for the kpi first so we will go to the color and uh, change the font from then to calibri size should not be more than 24 so let's write 20 only okay, so make 220 okay i think it's not going below the 24 23 so let's keep as it is bold black and then uh, go to the category label same thing apply the calibri or tent change the color to the black okay and uh, the most important things to change the effect in the form the effect we will change the visual border okay so border something like that put the one and now we will be changing the background also for this one so i will be selecting this background most of the time but uh, let me select this is the background okay. so yeah so that's it uh for yeah, so that's it for this KPI and uh, let's simply click it format printer just put it here again click it do the format printer just put it here okay so the format has been changed okay. so the color has been changed and for these uh, two charts i will be changing the format and in the next video i am going to uh, tell you how to apply the hierarchical uh, of filtering okay so just watch out for the next video thank you very much